We're still in the Kiti State and the only carrier of a carrier of bar of Basso in Ghana has commended INEC for the smooth conduct of the ongoing governorship election. Ghana told reporters today in Ikere Kiti that his simultaneous accreditation and voting had saved a lot of time. According to him, the process cast away tensions, which also simplified the process. In the meantime, the NSDC has arrested one suspect in Ado local government area of Ikiti State and it's in connection with vote buying, while another was nabbed in connection with thuggery aimed at disrupting voting at a polling unit. This was made known when Acting Deputy Commandant General Operations Harun Alawal Mohammed paid a visit to the Resident Electoral Commission uh, RSC at INEC office in the course of uh, the election monitoring duty in Ado Ikiti, Ikiti State. Away from that, uh, but still on the uh, election, the Aga Africa commended the EFCC for arresting the people that engaged in vote buying while calling on proper prosecution of individuals caught in the act of vote buying or voter arrangement. He also commended INEC for following the provisions of the new Electoral Act 2022 and the people of the state for peaceful conduct during the voting process. This election provides an opportunity to assess the operational implications of some of the provisions in the Act and also the newly issued guidelines by INEC. Other areas of interest include the deployment and functionality of the BVAS for accreditation, the role of the Permanent Voters Card in determining the conclusiveness of the election and the new framework for election results management. There are critical incidents that we've highlighted. One is of voter inducement and bribery. And this election, um, like we indicated in our pre-election statement, will be defined or marred by vote buying. We also observe vote buying across uh, polling stations. And in those polling stations, we also observed that the polling stations are the cubicles were stationed in a way that they compromised the, 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 the secrecy of, of the ballot. We've received reports of ballot box snatching in Ilawe Ward 5 near St. Patrick Primary School. Um, this incidence of ballot box snatching was also reported in two um, polling units, and we have the codes of the polling units in those um, locations. In view of the foregoing, we make the following preliminary um, recommendations. That one, INEC should safeguard the transparency of the election results, collation, and counting process. And transparency begins with INEC publishing the disaggregated data of the number of PVCs collected per polling unit before the end of polls. In our pre-election statement, we had called on INEC to publish the data, the PVC um, collection rate, um, after the deadline of June 16th. And to do so um, with updated data per polling, per polling unit. So we want to call on INEC um, to publish the data.